It's half 6am on the 16th of May. I look great. We had a little baby last night at 2.30am. Rich cried so much. <laughs> I love that was supposed to be so Because I love it, you never cry. She's so cute, we're so in love. It was the most insane mental day of my entire life. Daddy Rich over there. And baby Grey over here. Look at those cheeks. Loving life. Look at that face. Day three of little baby Grey. And our last day in hospital. We go home today. We get to see what our home looks like. It's Sunday the 19th of May. So three days in and we're totally obsessed. I'm like so happy and I can't stop saying, oh my God, she's so cute. Um, but I know that like the tears are probably gonna come soon. So I'm just enjoying the like happy time whilst I can. And like these little cuddles after feeding are the best things ever. And like kissing and smelling the little head. We still don't really know what we're doing, but we're just making it up. Lovely cuddles with daddy. Gray's first bath. She's like a week and one day old. Ugh. Her thumb is like stained yellow, but her, her cord has come off now, so we can do a bath. Ready? <laughs> Best bit of the bath. Grey is two weeks old today. Happy two week birthday, baby Grey. How are you feeling about it? Mmm, interesting. You got hiccups. <laughs> Hi everyone. Rock. We're ba <laughs> we're back and we're rocking. Oh, you stopped rocking. Oh, sorry. I bobbed into you. I thought I'd come back to say hi. Um, I had a baby. No, I, I have to rock. Sorry, this is gonna annoy you guys, but I'm literally holding the baby is trying to fall asleep you right now. Seasick. I know. Well, they'll get over it. <laughs> Anyway, hi, we had a baby. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen by now. Um, we had a little girl on the 16th of May um, and I thought we would come and show you guys and say hi and update you on, update to you on what we've been up to. Um, so we had a little girl called Grey Luna, um, as in Luna's her middle name, it's not a double barreled first name. And yeah, I'm just trying to like get her to sleep right now. <laughs> this is so weird. It's very, it's very surreal filming this video. Um, maybe we should start by talking about the name. Yep. We had the name Grey at the top of our list for about four years. Mm -hmm. um, I met someone who had a little girl called Grey and I thought it was a really cool name for a girl. There's quite a lot of boys called Grey, short for Grayson. Um, wasn't on my wasn't on our boys list, was it? No. But um, yeah, we always liked it for a girl. There was one other name that we liked, but as soon as she was born, we were like, I think Grey is the winner. And yeah, Luna. Neither oh, of them like mean cool. anything. We just like both names. Where do you get Luna? It's quite a popular Lose. name at the moment, I think. I yeah. just thought it sounded nice with it. By the way, please don't judge that she has a dummy in right now. You know, week four times times get real. Anyway, this is her. I feel like you're not going to be able to see her. I'll, I'll insert some clips. This is. <laughs> she's snoring. Good, yeah. She's got a block oh. nose. So we had her on the 16th. I will film a separate video for my labour and delivery story because I loved watching those when I was pregnant. So I'll definitely sit and chat you guys through that. I think we'll do it together actually because Rich will probably remember more than I do. So yeah, she's four weeks today. Crazy. How have the last four weeks been? Feels long. Feels like she's been here forever, but yeah. also can't believe happened. it's been four weeks, yeah. I feel like so much has happened. So much has happened. Every week has been like a different challenge. Um, feeding, story. different story. Feeding has by far been like the biggest challenge, the biggest shock to me of like how tricky it can be and all the challenges that come with it. Like right now, my nipples are on fire. Um, yeah, we had a lot of issues. We had to like go back into hospital because she lost a lot of weight, which is really common. Um, I then have had all the different types of boob issues you can have with feeding and just working my way through that. But she's been great and she's so healthy and happy and we're completely in love with her. Yeah, we? she's amazing. She's so cute. She's covered in milk spots right now, but she still yeah. looks cute. And it's really fun, like, being a mum and dad. Yeah, it's think. weird. Like, oh, don't cry. Like, when she cries, someone else is holding her and I take her and she, like, stops crying because I'm the mum. She knows. I love that. Yeah. Um, we've had lots of visitors come and meet her. Yep. 
What's been like the best part of the last four weeks for you and the worst part? Um, probably the worst part is going back into hospital. Mm -hmm. And probably the best part is when in the mornings. So now we've got a bit of a routine where I take her down about seven o'clock after Lily's fed her. Lily then has a couple of hours of sleep and we get to chill in the lounge. I get to like watch TV or film and she like sleeps on me, which is really nice. Ah, oh, that's cute. Can you do that forever, please? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, you're going to go back to work and leave me. <laughs> um, no, it's been amazing having Rich off work. Seriously, I don't know how people do it. Most guys in the UK get two weeks off work and just, yeah, it's so wrong, I think. Um, I've massively needed his help. I still can't drive. I ended up having a C-section, which I'll talk about in my next video. But yeah, it's just been really nice parenting together as a team, working yeah. it out, giving different roles to each other. And learning, even like with the whole breastfeeding, when you've had people come over and give you support and help, is like, I should be there as well to understand, so I can then help later on. Yeah. It shouldn't just be all on the mum. Yeah, exactly. So we've very much been doing teamwork. Although in the middle of the night when I'm feeding, I let you sleep. Yeah, I've realised I can't wake up between, what, 12 and 4. He literally 12 and 4, I'm like, like at the beginning when I tried, I was like cold. shaking you and yeah. you like literally couldn't, you're like, what? I just need those four hours sleep and then I'm ready to go. Um, How much did she weigh when she was born? People like hearing that. She was 3.9 kilograms. She was a big baby. She's a big baby. She's big now. She's like over, over, nine, four. over nine pounds yeah. now, whatever that is. Four, nine, nine, nine and a half pounds now. She's definitely found her voice. She cries a lot more now. She has like witching hour in the evening. Yeah. She's very, very sweet. And she's got lots of friends and family that love her. She's got gunky eyes. I really need to sort that out. The sleep deprivation is not so bad at the moment. I think we're doing quite well, actually, considering mm. um, we get up like every two, three hours in the night. Um, but she's been sleeping quite well between feeds. And I think we're just, we're really enjoying it, but we're slowly like getting out of the house and doing something every day and like trying to figure out how to feed in public and trying to figure out how to do everything really. It's, I think, I don't know, has, has it been, has it, how's it compared to what you thought it would be like? Um, well, my life has completely changed. That yeah. actually happens. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit more of a shock than I thought, even though I thought I knew. Yeah. I just don't think you know until you have a baby. Because you can't really think about anything else. Like, I've even tried to do like workouts, like quick 20 minute in the, at home and it's really hard to find the time to do that. Yeah, or we're watching a TV program and when it finished, it would be like, no idea what just yeah. happened. It's so hard to concentrate on stuff and... Yeah, no idea what's just, happening on Love Island. We watch it, we don't know what. Yeah, exactly. You're just constantly waiting for like the next feed and the next nappy change and it's definitely like a newborn bubble. Um, I feel like we're slowly coming out of that now. I think at six weeks, everyone says everything changes. Yeah, but I, I feel like now we managed, like yes, last night we managed to watch an episode on Netflix. Yeah. And we watched, and it felt like we had dinner and we watched it and we understood it and yeah. kind of felt a bit more normal. We were like, oh, that feels a bit normal. Yeah. Which is a nice feeling. I just find like going out is quite like intimidating. Like today it's raining and I'm like, oh, yeah, I just where do we go? rather like stay in. It's so, like, I have to put in a buggy and time it with feed, like feeding. And, yeah. Oh, it's all a bit intimidating. But we've got the whole buggy car seat, yeah. nap down, getting out. Yeah, she's falling asleep now, so this is good. We're getting to know when she's like tired and needs a little sleep. Um, so anyway, I don't really know what else to say in this video other just to introduce you to little Grey. We love her so much and despite how difficult it's been at times, I think we're just having like the best time every day. And I'm so happy that we've, she's finally here. Yeah. I'm not pregnant anymore. It's nice not to be pregnant. It's nice to sleep on my back. I am enjoying that. But now you said you want to sleep on the side for your boobs hurt. I know, it's so annoying. There's always something. <laughs> There's always something. Um, but yeah, the next video will be my labour and delivery story, which might be a long one because there's a, there's a lot to say. It was quite eventful. Um, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to her and say thanks. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want updates and stuff because I have actually been on there doing stories more than I thought I would. Um, so that's the best place to follow me because as I said before I left for my maternity leave, I'm probably only going to do a few videos over the summer. Um, and then hopefully after that I'll be back a little bit more. But for now, we're just trying to keep a little human alive. Mm. Actually, one point. Yeah. They don't prep you enough, especially in the UK, for what happens after birth. Oh my God. It's all the hype is around like labor. Yeah, which it's like through labor. Like, yeah, it's really, really tough. And for some people it's really tough. But for me, like, no matter how hard it was, I found feeding and afterwards much harder. And we were a bit shocked at the yeah. kind of... And the weight loss and dealing with yeah. like, 
just dealing with everything the first month or first couple of weeks of having a newborn and what that entails like there's needs to be more support around it and people there like if you've got a good family that's great yeah oh my God, if you're family on your own, friends have been so helpful if you're like a single parent i take my hat i take everything off to you because i literally don't understand how yeah that's yeah incredible how you can do that yeah. because you need support you just need extra bit of hands or advice yeah even groups people as long as you know what groups to go to and talk to and be open you just have to be open and talk to them yeah that will help you a lot That's so the motto of the story is try and get a support system around you if you don't have then try and find local groups and stuff because yeah. you need the support definitely yeah and don't be afraid to go and ask for help exactly um, so yeah, I hope this video wasn't, I feel like the tone is really down because we're a bit tired. I need a coffee. <laughs> oh my god. But thank you guys for watching um, and I'm glad that I got to just say hi and let you know that she is finally here and she's delicious. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.